Hi everyone, my name is Heather and welcome to Virtual Storytime um, brought to you by the Arvid E. Miller Memorial Library and Museum. Today we are going to read Chuck in the City by Jordan Wheeler. One day, Chuck and his mom decided to visit the city where the buildings stand tall and the rivers run pretty. So Chuck waited and watched for this big city scene because the city was a place that Chuck had never been. They drove and drove and then drove some more. And at 10 past eight, Chuck started to snore. They arrived very late, so mom put him to sleep. Chuck never woke up, never let out a peep. When morning came, where am I, Chuck thought. This must be the condo that Kokum just bought. It was, it was a modern place, all shiny and new, and out the living room was a big city view. Chuck wanted to go out to search and explore, so he put on his shoes and he raced out the door. The air was crisp and had a strange smell, like burnt wood or car smoke. He couldn't tell. There was a street on his left and a street to his right. Chuck picked his left and ran out of sight. Chuck's mom awoke by the sound of the door. She checked the clock. It was 6.04. She looked for Chuck in the light of dawn and saw right away that her kid was gone. She started to worry because the city can be mean and the city was a place that Chuck had never been. Chuck fed a chipmunk sitting on a log then ran away from a big stray dog. He petted the head of an alley cat and was scared away by a sewer rat. He saw big cars and little cars on the streets aplenty, and skaters and bladers, the sidewalks were never empty. He wandered around for over an hour, then stood at the base of a big office tower. He got hungry then and thought about kokums and cereal and juice and blueberry muffins. He looked for the street that led the way home, but the streets looked the same wherever he roamed. There was building after building and street after street and people rushing in cars and on feet. It was a very typical big city scene, but the city was a place that Chuck had never been. He went up the office tower to look around, but didn't recognize a thing on the ground. He went back down, aware of the dangers of traffic and dogs and talking to strangers. There was a bench on the other side of the street, so he crossed. He sat himself down and said, yep, I am lost. He knew back at Kokum's his mom would be frantic, but in the meantime, he tried not to panic. A plan of action was, was his growing concern, what to do in a city he now had to learn. He knew from TV that when in doubt, you look for the police to help you out. He could see a donut store a block from his spot and he saw a police car there in the parking lot. When he reached the car, no police were there, so he climbed in the back and said, I'll wait right there. It had been a long morning that started off early, and Chuck found himself tired and weary. He lay on the seat, and without a peep, he closed his eyes, and he fell asleep. When the police came back, they answered a call, 
but they didn't see Chuck in the back at all. They drove pretty quick past condos in rows and stopped so quick that Chuck bumped his nose. He woke up and heard a familiar voice say, his name is Chuck and his pants are gray. Chuck knew that the voice like he knew his own. He sat up and said, hi mom, I'm home. <clears throat> Chuck's mom hugged him as tears of relief ran. Then she crossly shook her finger, inside young man. Chuck knew his mom was glad. He also knew she was downright mad. He ran to the door looking to hide when Kokum came out and said, Chuck, you're alive. She told him how much he had scared his mom and that running off like that was pretty dumb. The police said, if you need us again, we won't be far but they didn't explain how Chuck got in their car. When they drove away, Chuck's mom burst into tears and Kokum hugged her to calm all of her fears. Chuck's mom went out inside in the bit of a hurry, but Kokum told Chuck not to worry. Your mom went inside so she could lie down and now I'm gonna show you around. The chance of a tour made Chuck quite keen because the city was a place that Chuck had never been. The end. Again, this book was called Chuck in the City. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.